hello there. This is the second prototype for the slab uh, magazine. Still has that buttery smooth, super flared uh, magwell. Uh, this is the second prototype. Um, I have released these files on my GitHub for a closed beta between some friends. But when I did that for the Silly Pistol, people printed them anyways. So this is currently up on GitHub, but don't print it for a while if you want a blaster that is uh, finely polished. Um, so what did I change in this version? I gave it a little thing on the front. I call this the bottle nose, which covers up the plunger rod that sticks out the front of the old one. Uh, on this print, you can see the plunger rod in there, that little black line. Um, that's just because I had the print settings slightly wrong. On, on the normal one, this is uh, fully filled in with orange. Um, but yeah. I shortened the handguard a bit and made it slightly thicker so it's more sturdy and uh, prints better. Split the top rail into two parts. You can see the seam right here uh, just to make it print nicer. Uh, I did a bunch of small improvements on some parts uh, like making the uh, spacing in between the two grip panels slightly more so it rubs less on the uh, lever when you put it home all the way. Uh, I made it a little bit longer, like five millimeters longer uh, to better, uh, to improve the seal in the breech. Uh, I made it grab onto the barrel better with the barrel nut that it has right there. Um, or a thumb screw. Uh, I changed up where the bars here connect to the priming grip. They used to connect like up here and this bar was angled. Uh, but now it's flat, which improves the prime just a bit. It makes it a hair shorter, but just just makes it nicer. Um, that also gave me room to make the side panels bigger and uh, change up the style of the lettering on the side. So now that's bigger. Um, I gave it a better butt plate, which better uh, cups the shoulder, as you can see there. Better grabs onto it. Um, I changed where the trigger pivot is. Uh, right now it is right there. On the old one it was pivoting off of like up here-ish uh, and that was awful. So on when I made the video for the previous one I had like chopped the trigger with a pair of scissors and uh, drilled a hole and put the trigger in basically where it is on this one. Uh, but I tweaked it slightly further for this this print. Um, yeah, I added some uh, sling points. There's a sling point here. You can also get this bottle nose without the sling point. Um, there's a sling point on the stock. You can also get it without the sling point. Uh, there are versions of the stock with uh, serrations like this. There's a version where it's smooth. And then there's a version, which is the one that I used on the old one, where instead of being a cup, it's just straight flat. Um, don't know why we, we would want the worst version, but it's up there. Uh, I improved the trigger mechanisms, uh, reliability a bit. Improved the catch, reliability a bit. Um, yeah. I think that's really all the changes that are worth mentioning. Of course, there's like tons of small tweaks of uh, tolerances and whatnot to make it nicer to assemble, easier to prime, all that stuff. Oh! I also made it so the mag well, or uh, there's this gray bit right here, which makes it so the mag can't go too far in. So it stops right there. Can't, can't make it go further in, which is good. firing real good.
excellent firing. Yeah. Um, even without a scar, uh, this barrel is like dead accurate within like an inch of where I'm aiming. I don't even have a scope or a sight or anything on this. I added a little ridge along the top so you can aim it down that ridge. I won't be able to get you a view of that, but you can see it's kind of a straight line. It lets you aim down the top of this instead of just floating off into nothingness, like pointing the barrel where you think that it is. It gives you a backup sight of some sort uh, in case you don't have iron sights that you put on the Victini rail or a red dot or a scope or whatever. Um, I haven't thrown with this yet. It's hitting good. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go prone on it right now. You just wait right there. So I have three of the uh, I have three of the red darts here. I'm just gonna chrono those, uh, and then I'll come back to you with the numbers. Uh, I don't want to export this off my phone and edit it, so this is the kind of quality content that you're getting. Alright. I have some more darts just on the ground randomly around here. Let's load those up. So that was 199 and 186 with the red darts. Uh, here's three AF Pros. I'm just going to run through it. Uh, this is a Talonclaw length. This is a Talonclaw length K25 on the version of the uh, cup for it that is shorter. So I have two versions of this piece right here, which is the same piece in there that holds the spring. Um, here's one version meant for four inch springs, and then there's one version meant for talent claw length springs. But you can use talent claw length springs in the four inch version, and it'll just compress them a lot. So that's what this is. This is a talent claw length spring in the shorter one, so it's making the performance a lot more. But the prime is still nice and easy. 196, 189, 181. So this is like hitting uh, like 190 to 200. Beautiful. 190 to 200, no scar, uh, talent claw length, K25 inside of the four inch spring uh, version of the muzzle. Yeah, this is great. Butter smooth prime, nice and easy. The air seal is lacking on this, but my air seals are always awful in all of my blasters, so I don't know why I can't get good air seals. Probably because I don't spend time on it. But. And by that I mean air seals on blasters that I built, not blasters that I designed. Other people have made the blasters that I've designed and they have excellent air seals, but I don't. <laughs> I don't spend time tweaking everything once I print it. Um, but yeah, around 195, 200 average on this dealio. Uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, really happy about how this blaster is coming out. Uh, feel free to print one if you want. And you have to find your own hardware because hardware can't start done yet.